I'm going to talk about uh, the difference of perfect squares because it's very important to the factorising something that you have completed the square on. But I'm going to start by going backwards. I'm going to just imagine you've got uh, brackets. You've got x plus a number, x plus 6, and you've got x multiplied by x minus 6. And if you uh, expand them out, you get uh, x multiplied by x minus 6 and plus 6 multiplied by x minus 6 over here. And if you expand this multiplication, you get x squared minus 6x. And if you expand this multiplication, you get plus 6x minus 6 squared. And when you factor out, when you simplify and you take your minus 6x and your plus 6x, you get 0x's. And which le just leaves you with x squared minus 6x squared, minus 6 squared. So that means that uh, because it works going forwards, if you ever find yourself with something squared minus something else squared, you can just write, without having to think about it, x plus that, that, that line is equal to that line. Just, and then just write dops next to it, difference of perfect squares. And everybody in the maths world knows what you mean. But it's a bit strange thinking that, uh, that that is always the same as that. So what we're going to do is uh, go through and uh, try out a few different variables, a few different things. We're going to put different values of x into this equation and see what they come up with. So you've got uh, when x equals 4, you've got uh, 4 plus 6 multiplied by 4 minus 6. So you're thinking, oh, you know, what's going to happen? Uh, 4 plus 6 is 10 and 4 minus 6 is minus 2. And when you multiply 10 by minus 2, you get minus 20. And then we're going to look at the, the other way of writing it, because we've got the, this 4 plus, you know, 4 plus 6 and 4 minus 6, that's so going to be the same as 4 squared minus 6 squared. And so if we go through that, we've got uh, 16 squared, which is 4 squared, minus 16, 36, which is 6 squared. And look, 16 minus 36 is equal to minus 20. Isn't that amazing? Now I'm going to uh, try a different value of x. Maybe we'll try, uh, well, 9 to, we'll try 10. 10 plus 6 multiplied by 10 minus 6, you've got uh, 16 multiplied by 4, which is 64. And then if you do it the other way, using the x squared minus 6 squared, 10 squared minus 6 squared is 100 minus 36, which is 64. And so no matter what value of x you put in there, it always ends up being uh, 19 plus 6. 19 minus 6 is 25 multiplied by 13, which is 325. If you don't believe me, get your calculators out, check it all out. And then, uh, and I wouldn't believe me, I've been known to make mistakes. And then the other way of looking at it, you've got 19 squared minus 6 squared. 361 minus 30, 36 is 325, the same number. And it happens for any number that you care to put in here. It's always going to be the same, which is a remarkable result. There must be something going on, but it's just maths. You've proved it up here. Something plus a number, something minus a number is the same as something squared minus the other thing squared. And then you've tried it out down here for lots of different versions and um, hopefully a thousand demonstrations is a proof. Thank you.